what's up, <clears throat> what's up you guys my name is mary i'm with high priestess intuition welcome my current subscribers and welcome 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 newbies if you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings free general collective reading um as always only take the messages that resonate lead the rest free general collective reading so only take the message your messages that resonate lead the rest okay okay so this one is about hidden cameras and that's just the damn truth <laughs> 10 29 p.m 12 4 2022 okay so the channeling i received was an overwhelming amount of calls are about to come in i heard two police and two federal agents regarding hidden cameras about to be found and have been found in people's homes you plug it in how it resonates um for your cameras for your cameras for your cameras there you go for your cameras so like what happened to me Except my community wouldn't help my ass and they knew about it. The CPS worker knew about it. She tried to remove my kids from my home. Except she should have called the police and assisted me and get the damn thing out of my house. But she tried to remove my kids. How fucked up is that? And that's just the truth. Unless she was making money off it, which she probably was. And that's just the truth. Um, but yeah. So, but I'm glad whoever this is, is uh, about to get some help. And that's just the truth. There's many readers this weekend have picked up hidden cameras all over the collective. Um, I mean, I'm picking it up right now. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So apparently voyeur hidden cameras have already been found in people's homes. Unauthorized with no consent and authorization, just like mine. Uh, like I said, I know there was one in my home. People can call me crazy around here all day long, but I know it's the truth because the CPS report stated the report was I was walking around my bra and my underwear. Well, how do you hell do you know I'm walking around my bra and my underwear if you're not watching me through an illegal hidden voyeur camera? Creepo. And that's just the truth. So kudos to whoever has already found the hidden voyeur cameras. Um, kudos to you. Um and some of you guys are about to find the hidden boy your cameras in your home. There's an app on Android and iOS um, called Hidden Camera Detector. There's many of them. They're free. You can download them. Um, if, you know, you feel you need to scan your home. I And the crazy part with me is I even hired somebody. Uh, an ex-cop. $350. I hired him to come out here for $350 and scan my house. $350 of my hard-earned money. I paid this guy. But later on, I found out there was one, but through a CPS report. So he obviously didn't do his job correctly, or he knew about it and he didn't want to tell me. Maybe he was making money off it too. And that's just the truth. It's sad. I mean, that's really, I mean, $350 down the drain. And then later to find out through a CPS report that I really had one in here. But still to this day, none of my community has told me there's been a one in, in my home. And now my kids aren't even here. Because if I could have proved it before the court situation with my ex-husband, I could have creamed his ass. But my community knew that. And they didn't want it to go down that way. And that's just the truth. It's sad as hell that you live in such a cold, calculated community. But I do. And that's just the truth. But anyways, kudos to whoever is about to find the cameras, the ones that already have the warrior cameras, the ones they're about to. I heard there's about to be a shit ton of reports into police. I'm assuming local police and federal agents regarding these hidden warrior cameras. And if y'all remember, um, the summer of 2021, when I went full time with this, um, after I quit Southern Health Partners, the nursing home over here, um, I was getting channelings about hidden cameras um, heavy when I uh, quit full-time there. Um, and almost a 1,000 of you guys at that time, which that time I only had about eight or 9,000 subscribers. Now I'll have much more than that now. I have like 15,000, almost 15,900 of you guys. But back then I only had like eight or 9,000 of you guys on here. But um, there was about a 1,000 of you guys that, I'm serious, almost a 1,000 emails, texts, photos of all the cameras you found in your home space. When I did the reading on the hidden cameras were very prevalent in the house, in the homes. Almost a thousand of you guys. Um, and I'm sure there's people that never 
contacted me and told me there were cameras in their house and they have found them. Because I still, like, a couple weeks ago in Libra's reading, I was picking up a hidden camera in a child's house. I mean, a child's room. So, um, in Cancer's reading, about three or four months ago, I was picking up a hidden camera in Cancer's reading. So, I mean, people are sick. They're sick, sick, sick. And you cannot, tr I hate to say it, but it's 2022. You, it's not, you can't trust folks these days. You just really can't. And the, I mean, I hate to say that, but that is the truth. And the proof is in CPS report. The proof is in paying somebody $350 to scan my home, knowing there was a fucking camera in my house. The bat He told me the battery must have died. That's what he told me. But yet he got my $350. But then, later on, I found out there was one for a CBS report. But did that lady, cold, ratchet, nasty lady, help me? No. She tried to remove my home, kids from my home. And that's just the truth. Like, where's the justice in that? Because there's not. There's not. CBS is a governmental system. They're just supposed to protect kids. Protecting the kids would have been getting police or feds in here to Get that camera out of my damn house. And that's just the truth. So I hope they do right by you guys is what I'm trying to say. I do. I heard many uh, reports are about to come into local police and federal agents. Because um, some of you guys have already found hidden cameras for your cameras with no consent, no authorization, and some you're about to. So good. It is about to go really fast. Really, 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 really fast. It is about to start going really, really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. Well, good. It should. Because all the trauma and shit that me and my kids had to go through in the past, and we got no help. No damn help. And that's just the truth. But the community was working against us. And that's just the truth. Because they don't like me, and they don't like my kids. But yet, they liked us enough to secretly voyeur, voyeur us. And that's just the truth. How sick is that? That's twisted as hell. But I heard it's about to move really fast. So I would love to know updates. If you guys get some assistance and help in there, I really, really, really would. I would. Because it's nice to know somebody's going to get justice in this. There's about to be overwhelming reports. Evidence. There's about to be overwhelming reports. Evidence. So, yeah, because I heard you're about to find the cameras. You're about to find them. So, overwhelming report with some kind of evidence. Well, good. Good, good. Let's pull one card. Good. I hope that ex-police officer and his... Um, little partner wife i hope they gain 50 pounds on that 350 dollars that i paid them when they damn well knew there was a damn hidden camera in my house and they covered it up and i'm just being for real so your message is here like this Chaos, I heard pull another one. Number 42 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 42, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 42. The shit is about to hit, a fan, hit the fan for a lot of people and for a hidden camera situation of the past. The hit, shit is about to hit the pan, fan for a lot of people. Um... Current situations and past a uh, past situation. The shit is about to hit the fan for a lot of people. Current voyeur camera situations, I'm presuming, and a hidden camera situation of the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's what these thick ass curves get. And that's just the truth. Never be afraid to speak your truth, you guys. Never be afraid. I don't care if they bully, harass, target, berate you. Hell, I was bullied, harassed, targeted, retaliated against for years. And I know the truth. I know the truth. And that's just the truth. And these people know I know the truth. That's why they don't ever speak to my ass. And I'm okay with that. 
Number 42, 4, or 30 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 42, 4, 30. It can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 42, 4, 30. Things are about to start happening very fast. Things are about to start happening very fast. Chaos. Negative tower moments are about to occur for these perverts. Current situations and a situation in the past. Negative tower moments are about to start occurring for these pervert current hidden camera situations. Whether you've already found it recently or you're about to find it and a hidden camera situation in the past. Um, negative tower moments are about to occur for the perverts. So negative perv lurkers, basically. Pervert lurkers that love the fetish of voyeurism, which is highly criminal and illegal if anybody needs to hear that. Chaos. Healing. A rape occurred on one of these situations. Statutory rape. After many series of shame events, the pervert that raped a child will be charged. Oh my God, it's a freaking pedo. Oh my God. So one of these uh, hidden camera situations, not only is somebody lurking through an illegal voyeur camera, but they're watching a child get raped by a pedophile? What the hell? Um, I heard one of these situations, a legal hidden voyeur camera, apparently a child got raped on it. But sick perverts were watching the child get raped on it. I heard through many series of shame events, they're about to be charged with statutory rape. They should. The child needs, my God, I think this is therapy. I think this is separating away from the pervert and the pervert being put on a sex offender registry list. Healing. The child needs he the healing. Away from a fucking sick ass pervert that raped them, pedophile that raped them, and lurkers through a camera that they didn't even know about, watching them get raped by a pedophile. How sick as fuck is that? That's sick as fuck. And a secret society is about to go down through many series of shame events. And a secret society is about to go down through many series of shame events. So I think a secret society is lurking. Through hidden voyeur cameras in some of these situations. And a child got raped by a pedophile. And some kind of, I think a secret society was watching this shit. In one of these situations. Healing. This is sick as hell. Purification. The truth is about to come out all over the place. All over the place. Soon and quickly. About to gain their power back. And information on a hidden voyeur camera in the past that was covered up in the family's home is about to come out and come out all over the place, all over the place. Police, feds, social media, all over the place. Well, good. Purification, truth coming out on current hidden camera situations, whether you guys have just found the hidden cameras or you're about to, the hidden camera situation of the family in the past, hopefully that's me, but it really could be anybody. Um, but the one of the past, I heard basically um, that one's going to come out police, feds, and social media. The other ones may come out police, feds, and social media too. But purification, truth coming out. This needs to be on the news, on the news, national news, if anybody needs to hear that. This is sick as hell. I heard it's about to move fast, and it should. Because no child should be raped by a pedophile, period, much less being Google through a hidden camera while being raped by a pedophile. Can anybody, do you not see how sick that is? If anybody needs to hear that. Whoa. I heard the pedophile is about to be exposed soon. They're about to be charged with statutory rape, and they should be. It's a masculine energy that raped a child. It's a masculine energy that raped your child. So the masculine pet, it's a masculine pedo that raped your child. They're about to be charged with statutory rape. In one situation, in one situation is the femme energy that had a strap on on. Oh my God, there's two. There's two. Okay, one is the masculine energy and one's a femme that um, had a strap on on. 
So there's two situations uh, about to be charged with start statutory rape. Whether it's a masculine energy that raped a child, masculine or femme child, or a femme with a strap-on on. So a strap-on is a fake penis for anybody who doesn't know. It's a fake penis you strap on for like dominatrix and um, dom and sub type play energy, adult energy. Except they use the strap-on to rape a child. Masculine or femme child. How sick in the fucking head is that? That's fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Anybody needs to hear that. So two of them about to be charged with statutory rape. Good. This is sick as fuck. This is about to start moving very fast. Very fast. This is about to start moving very fast, very fast. That's this double deuces confirmation for the very fast. Good. All right. Well, I love you. And sh shocking information is about to come out very soon in a shocking phone call. And shocking information is about to come out soon in a shocking phone call. And we have some kind of evidence in here. So I think it's evidence is you guys about to pluck, find these fucking cameras in your house. You already have or you're about to. Hopefully somebody gets some justice in this bitch. Because I know there was one in my house. I know there was. Have I gotten justice? No. I got injustice. My kids plucked from my house where my ex-husband should be put in fucking jail for voyeuring us. He should, actually, he should be in prison for voyeuring us, is what he should be in, uh, should be there for. For voyeurism. Because I know he was in on it. But yet, now he has full custody of my kids. Where's the justice in that? Thanks, justicism, not. Just saying. Love you guys, I'm going to say.